Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is John Unell, Aka John I Fly. And uh, it's Wednesday, November the 11th, 2020. And guess what? It's hump day. So, I hope you guys can see me okay. Uh, I have a light on. It might be a little bright. So, trying to find the right light level. At least you can get to see my eyes sometimes <laughs> through these glasses. But anyway, I hope everybody's doing okay today. Um, well, I know I'm a few days late, but uh, we won. We won, Blue Dots. And everybody that loves freedom and justice and the Blue Dot way. Uh, anyway, uh, it was kind of hairy there for a few days. Uh, you know, every day I thought, gee, I wonder how many more days this is going to last. But so, anyway, we made it through. But of course, you know how Donnie is going to be. He, he can't accept that. He cannot accept it. Even though in the Electoral College, Joe Biden, now this is according to uh, Associated Press, Joe Biden got 290 Electoral College votes. Electoral. And uh, Donnie Trump, of course, only got 214. He gained one point today. So, but he's crying up a storm. And uh, I believe also with the... Uh, uh, popular vote, uh, from what I understand here, he got, uh, Joe Biden got 50.7% of the, of the uh, votes, which is 75, and I get this, 75,404,182, uh, as opposed to uh, Donnie's votes. He only got 70,903,094. He got 47.7% of the, the votes. Last time in my book, that sounds like a loser to me. Oh, but Donnie doesn't like to be called a loser. Too bad, Donnie. You lost. And we have a grateful America that finally spoke out against your idiotic tirades and name-calling and immature ways that you act. Your days are numbered, and you can try all you want to. It's not going to work. You can cry, bitch, moan, and complain. But already the world leaders are recognizing Joe Biden as president-elect. It's about time you did, too. But he refuses to concede. He's acting like a petulant child. Oh, the votes, man, they had to be rigged. Don't you know? They had to be rigged. Otherwise, I would have won. Okay. And get this. Dead people actually came out of their graves and voted. Did you know that? Well, according to Donnie, that's what happened. Yeah, got all these votes from dead people. Amazing. I didn't know he was a miracle maker. <laughs> He's a waste. He's a joke. And people believe this nonsense. Well, I, uh, I look at this this way, you know. He can moan, bitch, complain all he wants to. But his day is going to end. His, his presidency, if you want to even call it that, is going to end January the 20th, 2021. But right now we're dealing with what I like to call an infection. He's a lingering infection. He just, he just can't face the fact that he lost. But the American people, <clears throat> they finally smoke, spoke up and 
they use their power through the ballot box. And now we also have the opportunity offhand. I believe the the one guy from Georgia that's running it, I think his name is John Otto. I don't remember the other guy's name. I know he's a, a reverend. So forgive me for that, but uh, you know who he is. I'm sure you've heard it on the news. There's two seats that we have to have filled with Democrats. I like John because he's a young guy and uh, he, he has some good ideas. So that seat belongs to him and also the other one belongs to the Reverend. The Republicans are running scared. They realize that the people cannot put up with their nonsense anymore. They've had it. We've all had it with them. I mean, think about it. Just four years, almost four years of this nonsense, this bullshit, to be quite, quite honest. That's all he does. And then, to top it off, we knew he was incompetent to begin with, okay? But uh, what I thought, well, he could get us in a war, and um, that would just show us how incompetent he was. But we got something even worse than that, and that's the uh, coronavirus, the COVID-19. When you think about it, we are in a war. We're, we're in a war against a virus. It's killed over 239,000 Americans. And we now have over 10 million new cases. And what has Donnie done about it? Nothing, nothing. But I'm not surprised. You know, all he had to do was to level with the American people. Tell them right off the bat, here's the situation. No, if you level with the American people, they're not going to panic. But get your team of scientists in there. That's one thing I like about Joe Biden here. He's going to have a, he's going to have a COVID panel or a committee. And uh, they're going to handle it. They're going to, it's going to be composed of actual physicians and scientists. Even though Donnie doesn't believe in science, of course. But we're going to get some things done. We should have had this done with Trump in the beginning of the year. But, oh, and he, you know, the thing is, he knew about it. He knew about it. That's what ticks me off. And he lied to us. Oh, it'll go. Well, first of all, it was a Democratic hoax. We have to put that in there. Democratic hoax. He just really loves to downgrade the Democrats. And when that didn't work, well, you know, April's coming. When April comes, the heat's just going to do away with the virus. It'll just, it'll disappear like a miracle. Right. Well, here it is, November 11th, Veterans Day, ironically. And we still haven't, are having to deal with it now. I believe... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they said it was over 100,000 uh, new infections per day. This isn't a week. This is per day. Do we see Donald Trump worried about it? No. He's, not, he's more worried about golf. He's more worried about uh, the elections. They're trying to screw me over. You know? I won the elections. There's no question. The, the, you know, the ballots, you count all those legitimate ballots, and I won. And then to top it off, his stupid Secretary of State has the nerve to sit there and say, oh, we're going to have a second administration. Yeah, of Trump. I don't think so. I think all, his, I think all these Trumplicans, and that's what I call them, Trumplicans, they're seriously deluded. You heard the saying, if you listen to something long enough, whether it's a lie or whatever, you'll believe it. And they believe it. 
Well, they can keep on believing it. But guess what, baby? January 20th is coming. And when it gets here, Trump, you're out on your ass. Pure and simple. So, you can spout all the conspiracy theories that you want. You can lie all you want. But, your ass is going to be out of there. And, uh, well, anyway, Donnie just had to show his authority. And he fired the defense secretary, Mark, Ep Mark Esper, I believe it is. Yeah. And uh, who knows why he's doing this. Uh, I think, personally, he could be trying to screw the government up, make it as hard as he can. But when Joe Biden is sworn in as the 41st president of the United States. But so far, Joe Biden has his core. I admire him. He's used to these tactics in government because he's been around a long time in government. But anyway, Donnie replaced him with uh, uh, Christopher Miller, uh, who is now acting as the acting secretary of defense. And also, several top-ranking Pentagon officials, they just resigned and replaced, uh, Trump replaced them with loyalists. I don't blame them for resigning, you know? And, uh, well, we only have, what is it, like 68, 69 days? I guess it's 68 days, whatever, that's left until Biden is sworn in. So what are these people going to do during that time? And... Another thing is, will Biden be able to get rid of him? I heard today on CNN that uh, I, I don't know if these are lower-level employees or, or management staff or what, but they're under civil service rules for the government, so they may not be as easy to get rid of. Uh, and uh, that might cause... Uh, Biden a problem. I don't know how that would work, but uh, Donnie's trying to do everything he can to screw screw the, uh, the government over and to screw uh, the new Biden administration as they come in. So, we're seeing Donald's true colors right now, people. He doesn't love the United States. He loves green. Money, money, money. That's all he's worried about. And he could care less about our country. Oh, I forgot. He likes golf, too. You can tell how, the, how, uh, how, how uh, he's letting himself go, too. He's getting fatter by the day. Well, when you sit around eating buckets of chicken or whatever and watching TV, I guess that'll happen to you. But anyway, um, another thing is... Uh, also, this guy by the name of uh, Anthony Tata, I believe that's how you pronounce it, he steps into the newly vacated job as the Pentagon's top policy uh, chief. Now, this guy is interesting because he, he's a retired Army general, okay? But a while back, I'm not sure if it was this past summer or when it was, it might have been a few years ago, he made some remarks about President Obama, and Islam. So, uh, I think he accused uh, Obama of being Islamic, and you know that stupid conspiracy theory that went about, that he was born in Africa and all that nonsense. You see, they, they don't have any, they didn't have anything against President Obama, so let's make shit up, and that's what they did. They made it up. And now, they're just like they're doing now with the election. Oh, there's fraud. There's fraud everywhere. Man, they're just trying to undermine me. Yeah, okay. No, Donnie. It's not the case. You can lie all you want to, but when January 20th comes, what the American people are going to say to you is, Bye-bye. Ah, I'm just curious. 
I bet you any money that the crowds are going to be there for Joe Biden being inaugurated and Kamala Harris as vice president. I'll bet you it's going to beat your inauguration day crowd. So, want to make a bet? <laughs> I think I'm right on this too. You can sit there and say, oh, I had the biggest crowd in the history of the world, whatever, all junk that you spout out of your mouth. But uh, it, it, it's not going to happen. It, what's, you're going to see the results. I mean, when Joe Biden was projected as the next president of the United States, did you see the difference, Donnie? Did you see the difference how people reacted compared to when you were inaugurated and some of the stupid things that you did in the beginning of your administration that caused mass chaos? Oh, you had people out in the streets, all right, but they weren't applauding you. They weren't applauding you, buddy. They were protesting you. They were calling you out for the piece of shit that you really are. Well, now we saw a difference in the crowd. There was, by the way, there was no violence. That's the difference between people who love Joe Biden, who's going to be a competent president, and some asshole like you that didn't know his ass from a hole in the ground, to be quite honest. You didn't know the first thing what you were doing as president. I think you just wanted the limelight. I just think you wanted the glory. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and you wrecked the American country and the economy in the process. But anyway, we're going to see your end soon. So you can try all the bullshit tactics you want. Try all the stalling tactics you want. But January 20th, it's coming, and you're going to be out of office. Screw the red. Oh, by the way, uh, my hat. No, it's not a MAGA hat. It does say, uh, make Obama president again. <laughs> but you might as well say, we are in a sense, because uh, his vice president, former vice president, is now going to be president of the United States. The 41st president of the United States, Johnny. So get used to it and get over it. Okay, people. Well, I'm going to leave you go. Uh, I will try to do a few more rants a little more often during the week. I figure at least two, maybe three. But I've uh, been busy with the elections and everything else going on. So uh, I uh, thank you very much for listening to me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm under John I. Fly in Yahoo. I'm also on Facebook uh, as John I. Fly as well, or John U. Nell. So, uh, I haven't put any videos on there yet. I may just put some on there. Uh, right now, I've been putting them on YouTube, but I may just throw them over on Facebook as well. So, stay tuned and keep your eyes on it. Have a good night, everybody, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.